Kenneth. <laughs> so, I tell you what, I got a challenge for you. Here is my challenge. Do what you say you're going to do. That's a pretty simple one, right? You've spent years, literally years, but especially here lately, months, every day, putting out hours of video saying you're going to send me to jail. Now, folks, what you're seeing here is I'm rolling a quarter cup of Rust-Oleum black flat paint cost me $12.97 at the hardware store with a half cup of water, so a two-to-one ratio, right? Water to paint. But you've been challenging me all this time, telling me that you're going to send me to prison. I had three days. Well, my three days are up. So do it. Okay. Do it. I tell you what, let's do one even better. Take all the charges that you're going to hit me with. And I tell you what, I'll tell the judge I'm the ringleader. I'm the puppet master. I'm the one who orchestrated all this stuff that's happened to you. Your victimization. It's all on me. Throw it all on me. Take those charges that you have for Crow, add them to mine. Take the ones for Silent, add them to mine. Take the ones for Wix, add them to mine. Take the ones for Matthew, add them to mine. Take the ones from Lee, add them to mine. Take the ones from all these people out here that you've said bad things about the guy next door, add them to mine. Add them to all Danny Rogers. I'm waiting. And I'm not the only one waiting. Everybody out here is waiting. Even those two little shitheads that keep giving you thumbs up. They're waiting. Everyone's waiting to see you fulfill this promise of yours. Because here's what I know, Ken. No matter how much of that you try to coalesce, no matter how much of that, you throw it all, make one big ball at it and get ready to flail it at me because in the end, it won't equate to a damn spitball. <laughs> it just won't. But, but please, please, and listen, I don't want your damn mercy. I don't want your grace. I don't. I don't want your olive branch. As a matter of fact, take your whole damn olive tree, shove it up your keister, and play sit and spin. Throw it all at me. Show people you are a man of your word. Show people that you can actually get rid of those pesky naysayers, those trolls that are out there lying about your company. Your company, excuse me. Oh, and there's your black phantom matching about $3 worth of paint. <laughs> Uh, black technology, literal stupid technology is what it is. I know your biggest challenge is finding a place to empty out your poop bucket without your neighbors seeing you. I think it's funny that you tried to say that Silent was scamming people in that demonstration. I hate to state the obvious, but if he was trying to scam people, he wouldn't have put that black piece of crap up there on the screen. So the fact that he actually displayed it shows he's not trying to scam anybody. So need to rethink that one and try to come up with another approach. But listen, my fandom is growing every day. Your mama's a fan. She said, that parte, he's a damn good looking man. Woo! <laughs> and then she looks over at her scrub of a fugly son. That's why I think you have an affinity for buckets, because when you were born, she dropped you in one. But she's a good lady. She loves some parte too. I'm sure she looks back with sadness when she thinks of the day you came to her and said, Mama, I'm going to sell paint. And she was like, oh, that's good, baby. Thirteen years watching you sink. Thirteen year journey to end up pooping in a bucket, living in a shed, having to stay in the laundry room floor, and she's having to step over you to get her laundry. <laughs> but I tell you what, Kenneth, if you need a new gig, I got my hands on some gold-plated 
chains, uh, I can cut you in for a special. Just email me. Chat me up, baby. <laughs> you guys take care.